these particular methods or sometimes they call it curve fitting. Today we'll talk about the exponential function, how to find the best equation to fit that data. This is vector K. The exponential function look like this, as you can see it in this uh, graph. And can be represented by this formula, y equals to a exponential power bx. a and b are a constant. Before we will talk about this exponential equation, let's take some a review about the linear equation how we solve it uh, you need to have some background in matrix uh, to understand this one okay we have this data x and y and uh, it's required to have uh, uh, to find first because here you have x x summation x summation x square you need to find x square first find x square is equals to uh, this is x and then we will square it okay enter and then we can uh, copy paste it here okay we have x okay x square okay y here okay we need to have x y which is equals to this x times uh, uh, this y. Then we will now we will fill up this matrix. First, we need to have the the summation of the total of this column. It's equals to sum. Okay. We will highlight this one. Enter. We can copy and paste here. Okay, we get all the, the data what we need. <clears throat> now let's uh, uh, solve this one. Uh, let's write it here. N is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 uh, point we have. We have the total of sum of x is equal to 110. This one also the same. 110. And this one is the square, which is this one. Enter. Now we have this is the first uh, matrix. Let's say give some color. This one is like that one like that. Now the second one is this one, which comes from summation y equals to summation y, which is this one. And this one summation x times y. And then this one. Let's give him also some Now to solve this one, So this matrix we have like this. Uh, we have this matrix, the first one, uh, it can be represented by matrix A times matrix B. Equals to C. Okay, to solve it, to be B equals inverse A times C. I need to find First, what is uh, matrix? I need to find first the uh, the inverse of this one. To find the inverse of a, uh, it is very easy by using epsilon, which is equals to uh, m inverse. Okay, and then I will highlight it and enter. I will get this one. 
Now the next I need to multiply this inverse by t. Okay. Here I will multiply the inverse, this one by this t equals to multiply matrix. And this is the first one. And the second one, this is the second matrix. This is the, the final answer, which will be uh, something like 0 plus 10. Something uh, like this. The equation is y equals to 10 x okay now let's see if that's true here uh, we can draw this one this data we can draw it uh, using this one okay i will remove this one and then i will draw this data uh, right click here uh, add trend Okay, you can see I'm using linear. Later I'll use this one. And then I want to find what's the equation. Uh, he gave me the equation. Okay, similar to what uh, we have. Okay, this is how to solve it if it is uh, linear. Okay. Now, we will apply the same things uh, for this data, which is nonlinear. But uh, first, I will show you how to write this data. If I draw this one again, you can see this is how to write. Okay, similar to the per what we have shown to you. Uh, right click this is we can do it by excel add train and then we we'll use exponential and then we want to see how to apply the equation okay uh, this is the equation which is two uh, we can write here from here okay. Um, okay this is how to apply uh, we can write it here with this uh, y equals to 2 e power uh, point 0.1x. This is if you do it by using Excel. But uh, we want to do it manually. Not really manually because you need some uh, hair uh, methods. Now, let's how do it. First, I need to convert it to this form which is similar to uh, to this form okay i cannot use this one now uh, how it look like if you this one it will be instead of y it will be lin y and instead of uh, y times x it will be lin y times x now i need to find first here how much lin y i will use the command lin okay from xl and then this is y enter and then I can highlight it okay the same with x is one equals to uh, x uh, power 2 enter and then I can also okay to multiply this one it will come from equals uh, x times and then I will okay now in this one I need summation x okay I'll get this one equals to sum sum x of this data enter copy I need uh, the square this is the square Yes, you take the format. Uh, then y, uh, I need this one. And then I need this one. Okay, 
Now let's make the the matrix. The matrix is how much uh, point I have. I have six points, and then I have a x. This is x here, and this one also the same. And here is the square. The total square. This one. Okay. Uh, this one I will just uh, give them. This is my matrix A. Okay, my matrix C, which is equals to uh, lin y, lin y total this one, and then also equals to the multiplication this one. Okay, and this one. Okay, this is my matrix A. This is my matrix B. I need to find first what is the inverse. M inverse. Okay, you can find. I'll find the inverse of of this one. Okay. Um. I need to multiply my inverse by the C equals to multiply my inverse. Okay, and comma uh, C, enter. Okay, he found the answer. Now, let's compare. This one is, is, um, is point one. Okay, but this one is not two. Why? The reason is uh, this one he found it for me is lin a okay this is lin a not a now if you want to find a a actually is equal to exponential of lin a let's find it okay now how much a okay how much a a equals to okay find this one it's equals the exponential this is the command for exponential of this number enter it is two you can fix it here it is uh, two okay and then b here is equals to this number uh, equals to this number okay now you can see uh, how i find it other things we can say also uh, this is my formula i want to see how much uh, accurate with this data I can use my calculation, uh, my calculated uh, uh, formula, which is equals to how much a. Uh, this is my a times exponential. Okay, this is the exponential. Exponential of b times x and enter you can see it is the same and then you can also copy and paste hmm. oh mistake uh, because uh, this uh, will show you uh, this here uh, i should not let it uh, move I need to press F4 here, and also uh, this one, it should be F4. Enter. Now, when I will copy paste, this will not move. Okay. And then copy paste. Okay. I get that. Other things, uh, what about if I draw? That's why I will show you why this looks like linear. If I draw this data, I'm using control, pressing control against this data. If I draw them, look how it looks like. Okay, 
this one it look like a linear and see now it is look like a linear okay and then if you right click you add the friends as a linear okay he will give you uh this numbers you can see this one is the number here uh i'll make it bigger okay i'll make it bigger you compare it with this uh, formula y okay actually this is not y this is len y here len y okay uh, uh, because he is considered that one is this way different from that y okay let's make it big y it's point one x which is this one the b and this number is this number okay this number is this number because this is an in a okay i hope you learned something from my lecture today and have a nice day this is dr k